Hello everyone, you're watching GB Times News. I'm Clément Bonneau from Paris office and here is today's top news. I want to start with a number, 14 billion euros. Yes, 14 billion euros. This is how much the French government will try to save by 2014. They need to save uh, that much of money. Uh, this is a request of Brussels uh, to bring down the deficit, the French deficit by 3%. So uh, I, I want to explain that uh, by next year, uh, the, the French government will need to save 20 billions, and in these 20 billions, you've got the 14 billion euros and 6 billion euros of tax increase. So there will be major cutbacks everywhere. Uh, ministers uh, on public jobs, public services, state operators, in the post office, in the social services, even in French uh, radio and public uh, television, there is two. Uh, two exceptions in this matter, uh, the education and jobs uh, services, this is the, um, the, uh, the, the major, uh, major thing for, for François Hollande and his government, so there, there won't be any cutbacks in this, uh, in this matter. And moving on to another important news uh, today in France, it's the end of the drama at the UMP party, the party of the opposition. Uh, this weekend, there was a voting uh, among the, uh, the members of the party and 87,000 uh, members of the party say yes, we want Jean-François Copé, the actual chief of the party, to stay the chief until November 15, until a new vote to designate the new chief of uh, the party. The uh, status of the, the UMP, the party of the opposition, will also change and the members will decide in 2016 which candidate, uh, they, they, they want to represent them in the election, the, president, the presidential election of 2017, and uh, François Fillon, uh, he was the running candidate with uh, Jean-François Copé, saying that we are uh, right back on the track of democracy, which is kind of funny because uh, once months ago, the actual chief said that we are, that they were learning democracy in 2000. And 13, you're learning democracy, which is it's, um, kind of uh, funny, but they say this is a victory for uh, the party. But let's break down the joy uh, just a bit, because as I said in the beginning, there were only 87,000 voters, and uh, the, uh, the party counts uh, more than 300,000 members. So this is a small victory uh, for the UMP party. You've been watching GB Times Daily News. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Clément Bono. Thank you.